Here we have a wee brown trout. It's not a uh, big one, but not a bad size one. So we're going to use a uh, 17 centimetre blade, just because of the size of it. So we want to make sure that we're going to trim up the bottom fin. So we'll just take this bottom fin off first. Take the second one off. Because these are very similar to salmon, salmon's normally can get away with one cut, mainly because of the frame, the uh, single bone that goes through the through the centre of the fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up under the gill on the angle and just lift that flap so it frees that. We cut in it under there, roll the knife over, and just run the knife through like that. So what we've done. This here is just for bruising for when it's been caught. So this particular fish has been uh, frozen and then rethawed out. But the bruising would have been um, the happen when it's been caught and obviously someone's grabbed it like that. It's just been a bit rough up there. So this here, as you can see, you've got the same orangey tinge to um, what salmon have. So very, very similar bone structure as, as what the salmon is. So once again, we just come in, roll our knife, Bear in mind there's, there's nothing here to be cutting, so this is why we're only cutting this thin strip through. So we want to come in, roll our knife over, and try to use the back part of our knife just so it gives us a bit more control, and making sure that we're sort of sitting at the edge of the board that gives us that ability. So when we come in, push along here. Once we get to here, just need to straighten the knife out a bit and come back to this back part, because then we'll go the other way. So to come in, roll, push through, get to there, and then off. Right, turn it over. This gives us the option to put just a nick above the fin. You don't have to do that. Uh, it's just so we, when we come through here and get to there that we can cut that piece. So once again, come in under here on, on the angle, give it a flick, lift that up, roll the knife over, and come all the way through. So what we've done is come into the head, rolled over, just what we're cutting this top part now. So coming right down like that, it's going to sit your knife on top of the bone and you're going to end up with that in there. By turning it and cutting on an angle, you can get down into this, this hollow here. All right? And then once we get to here, we just keep our knife there. We've already made the neck in there, so really there's nothing else to cut. So it's all the way through here. All right? So you, you may leave a bit of meat here, simply because when you're cutting, your knife's still got a ridge and it's still got a hollow under there, all right? So you may not always get that. Right, what we want to do is we want to just take the bones out here, all right? We just get under this top bone and just work our way, all right? Just work our way like that. Now the bones come through to here and then as, as you can see, they just pull off there. So once you've got under under these bones like this, the rest of it's just just the belly lining. So it's it's really presentation to whether you want this belly lining on or off. As you can see, there's a little bit of um, freezer burner or a little bit of enzyme activity, one or the other. So you can just trim that off. And once again, it's just purely presentation something. So we'll take those off and over there. This time we're going to get under here with the knife, go right through the front, and okay. And once again, it's just this presentation thing here. So getting under here, coming off. It's only edges and a bit of other bits and pieces. But we have it. I'll just take this bruising off because it's uh, the paint doesn't look like that bruising. So these are going to have a, uh, a pin bone in them. So identify where the pin bone is. Just get your knife, run it backwards like that. All right. And same with this fish. You can actually feel them here, but if you get your knife and just run them back, this fro fish being frozen is obviously a bit soft. Um, so just you've got to be a little careful. Then it's just getting your pliers. And pulling those out, all right. 
So we'll go through that another time. Right, so that's filleting a little brown trout, and as you can see, very, very similar to, uh, to salmon.